Welcome back to the Can-Am Garage, guys. This time around, we're going to have a look at the Ranger Detail Technologies kit of the Ward France Ambassador P80 cab and cabinets conversion. Now, this will build you the more popular Engine 51 from Emergency, the, the truck that was built, believe it or not, the engine, excuse me, that was built purposely, purposely by Ward de France for the television show because the Los Angeles... L.A. County? Yeah, L.A. County had bought, not L.A. City, L.A. County had bought quite a few P.A.D.s for the fire department. So if you're going to have a TV show that's set there, why not have them, you know, appropriately phase out their 60s vintage Crown Fire Coach and replace it with what the uh, fire department is actually using. We're not going to be opening any bags because this is wickedly complex. I mean, wickedly complex. <laughs> what we're going to do is, yeah, there's not a lot of paper instructions. It's all available electronically. Or there's two or three ways to get the instructions. This is all about your decals, the gold markings, which are printed on Alps. Uh, 3D parts, instructions. If you haven't used them, this would actually be a very good you, very good information for everybody who's start, who starting to branch out into the 3D parts. And remove just all the wrapping, just to... I peeked into this the other day after receiving it, and I just about freaked because it is just so... I couldn't expect this box to be. This is the biggest box I've ever gotten from Ranger Detail Technologies, a.k.a. Tim Bongard, who used to write the Firehouse column and scale on Enthusiast years ago. It only makes nice stuff. It includes templates, tools, and etc., sanding blocks, plus ca a cab clamping template, which is very good, and that's all in one bag. We'll take the bags out. We're going to look around at some of the stuff, but we're not going to open any bags. Trust me. <laughs> we're going to take that out. How did I choose to get my instructions? Right here on a USB key. Right here. Unfortunately, I'll have to figure some way how to get the information from my computer, which is in another room, to either my phone or my tablet to make it easier to have it here at the workbench. Anyway, not worried. I'll get that figured out. Everything's bagged as by what the suggestion is. Okay, so this is the, this is the Warden France Ambassador Hose Load. And there is 4-inch Hose Load, 8 facings, 7 toppers, and 1... Seven toppers at 102 milliliters, another one at 92 millimeters. Well, this is going to be interesting. I'll have to look at the instructions. The two-inch hose load, four facings. So the big stuff, the small stuff. Cool. This is optional. You can have Tim assemble it, or you can opt to do it yourself. I think that's the only options that there were on how to assemble the actual cab. But this is 3D printed, engine bay four, passengers and, and, and driver's engine cover side skirts, interior and canopy parts, and they are secured to the parts. Oh, awesome, Tim. This is wonderful. <laughs> this will be something. Sorry, I'm just trying to find a place to put these big pieces, to get them out of my way while we're looking at them. Passenger side of the cab, the Obviously, the driver's side or the chauffeur's side, the nose, complete with a bulge that the P80s known to have. Oh, you can also, there's another way to get a cab. You can get it from, there's a guy who does resin. One piece, but I decided I wanted to go with Tim's idea. Roof panel. Don't slide anywhere, of course. And, of course, it's going to slide somewhere. <laughs> ah. Side cabinet tread plate toppers, the window frames. Again, we're not opening a big bag to get to the little bag. No, front tread plate facing goes on the front of the the uh, pumper body. The, the rear beaver tail. Yeah, where firefighters are not allowed to travel to fire anymore on. Anyway. Ah, the glass. All clear sheet plastic. All, oh, oh. <laughs> it's all, it's all scribed. God, Tim, you're going to make it too easy. It's just a matter of me getting my, getting, working up my, oh, the decals, L.A. County, 51, Fire Department, yeah, beautiful. All me working up my courage. 
the pump panel. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, Tim. Beautiful. Sorry, I should be bringing it up close to the camera and letting you all see it. And it's just, oh, I just get into it. Oh, and the pump panel gauges. Oh, man. The problem is, if I start building one, let's say Engine 51, because I also have a Squad 51, I'll have to build Squad 51. The sheets come all prescribed. So that you scribe and snap, and there's your pieces, and you true up the edges, and you're good to go. Oh, I guess he didn't uh, bother to add a little bit of something to the plat on top of the plastic to get into the edges this time. That's all right. I can do this. I've done it to my Crown Fire Coach. That's something to do a few weeks back. And, yep. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. This has to be... Okay, it's not cheap, no. But this still has to be one of the most... Whew, neatest kits I've ever had. I'm sure somebody's going to say, well, what would you call that? Because I wouldn't call that a kit. No, but I would call it a kit. This is what I would refer to as... A craftsman style kit, not something that us model car guys are really used to, or truck guys for that matter, but it would definitely be something you would see in, or used to see, in the model railroad side of the hobbies. And you'd say, yeah, but I don't want to build a model railroad. I know, neither do I, but sometimes you have to make sacrifices to get what you want. In this case, <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's this bag, and I'm going to guess everything else is here. Holy shoot, I really don't want to open up a bag. I really don't, but... No, oh, maybe they'll just have to be extensive videos for when I actually build the kit. Or along with the other kits. And it just so happens that at this time, due to timing, spacing, and pardon me, I'm not forgetting about you. Just give me a minute to move it out of the way. We're going to go through that bag somewhat, I guess. But just because of timing, spacing, etc. Something that I'd found when I was moving my kits from temporary storage to less than temporary storage is Crown Fire Coach from Ranger Detail Technologies. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Crown Fire Coach. Anyway. We'll put that back out of the way. We'll come back here with this big bag of... Holy shoot, even though I didn't want to. We're just going to take some of the things out, I guess. We're... Holy shoot. Oh. The canopy seats. Yeah, <laughs> in other words, the people riding facing backwards. The firefighters facing backwards. Veneer from mid-deck. Wood. <laughs> oh, shit. Pump panel parts kit. Radio, sirens, and mics, which looks like what? Yeah, all that. Cool. Roof markers. Holy shoot. Yeah, and they're even right. Oh, and I expect nothing short of right from Tim at this point. <sighs> wow. I don't know how much I'm going to have to work up my courage to build this, but I'm going to have to work up my courage. It would be just so fun, though, to be able to think that within a year's time, I'm not saying this year's time. I'm just saying within a year's time that I could... Well, I'm just move it down here a little bit so I can sit. Oh, It would be neat to think that I could find the time, motivation, etc. that inside of a year's time that I could build both variations of Engine 51, the Crown Fire Coach and the Ambassador P80 plus Squad 51. Of course, I'll have to find Squad 51 to do that. And I do have the base kit for Squad 51. And unfortunately, my records say I have two American La France Century, not Century Series, the, one, the 1000 Series engines that AMT offered kits of, which is what is intended to be used as the basis for both the Fire Coach and the Ambassador, the Lord de France. So I'll have to find those and find Squad and this and that, and then we'll see exactly what goes on. Right now, I can't guarantee anything. <laughs> I just <laughs> I just can't. Anyway, I think that's about it for now, guys. We'll see you next time here at the Can-Am Garage.